one and all. I'm Dr. Srishti. I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist from Shaker Eye Hospital. I'm here to talk about vision problems in children and how to notice them. So vision threatening eye conditions can affect any age group, maybe from preterm babies to elderly. As a pediatric ophthalmologist, uh, it, uh, this is my effort to, to create awareness regarding vision problems in pediatric age group. So older children would usually complain precisely of what they are facing uh, in terms of vision disturbances. May it be blurred vision or double vision. The commonest cause of uh, blurred vision in this age group would be refractive errors. Especially school age myopia and astigmatism are the commonest. Nowadays due to ch changing lifestyle uh, to more indoors and screens than outdoors. We are noticing that many children, especially teenagers and older children, are facing uh, focusing issues and eye strain. Uh, in this, a child would complain of intermittent blurred vision or uh, blurring on shifting of focus between distance and near, or sometimes even double vision. This might not be of something very serious uh, and it can be actually rectified with uh, lifestyle modification and proper treatment. Rarely, when there is a unilateral vision loss, especially there is a large difference between the vision in the two eyes, the child would have gotten adapted to see with the good eye alone and would not even notice that there is a vision problem in the other eye. This could be picked up only by routine eye checkup, school screening, or incidentally, if somebody has uh, closed their eye, each eye at a time and see. Smaller children. Uh, including infants, toddlers and kids younger than 8 year olds may not be able to complain regarding their vision problems and thus it becomes a, a responsibility of a, a parent or a caregiver to pick up on the warning signs. A white reflex is a sure shot sign of a vision threatening eye condition. Observe her child's visual behavior. Is, it, uh, is a 3 month old child not able to uh, uh, pay attention at the mother's face or is the child going too close to see the object or is there any frequent falls or bumps bumping against uh, surfaces and that, that child could be presenting with uh, defective vision or even visual field defects. Abnormal head positioning could be a sign of double vision. Squints could be associated with lazy eye and the deviated eye could actually have less vision or even very less vision. Apart from all these, if, the if you find a child who is squeezing their eyes to try and focus, teary eyed, blinking frequently or uh, rubbing their eyes frequently or if the child is complaining of frequent headaches, then the child could be actually straining to see clearly in case of vision problems. In order to avoid missing out on uh, serious eye conditions, we recommend a routine screening of every preschool child at 3 years of age. Um, many vision threatening conditions uh, can in fact occur at birth or soon after birth in early infancy, such as uh, congenital corneal obesity and congenital cataracts which could be due to maternal infections while pregnant or uh, other conditions like congenital glaucoma, uh, persistent hyperplastic primary vitreous, retinoblastoma, squints and nystagmus could occur in early infancy. All of these could present with quite obvious warning signs like white reflex, uh, excessive tearing, deviated eye and shaky eyes. Infants who have experienced birth trauma like delayed cry, low sugars or seizures at birth or soon after birth uh, could have a brain insult especially at the occipital lobe of the brain which is responsible for vision. Hence in these children even though the eye grows and functions normally the, the part of the brain which is associated with vision could malfunction and that could be the cause of particle visual impairment. 
In such babies, parents usually present with uh, complaints of visual inattention to mother's face or other visual stimuli at around 3 months of age. Uh, the cortical visual impairment can present with wide range of uh, vision problems ranging from a very small field effect to total vision loss. Hence, each child has to be dealt with uniquely uh, and has to be rehabilitated accordingly. Although cortical vision impairment cannot be transformed to normal vision, rehabilitating the child as early as possible can make it way better. Coming to a, a serious vision threatening eye condition that would affect preterm babies. Yes, preterm babies and low birth weight babies are at the risk of a serious vision threatening eye condition called retinopathy of the maturity wherein abnormal blood vessels develop in an immature retina due to various factors. Retinopathy of prematurity has to be screened for in every low birth weight babies and preterm babies and also in term babies with certain risk factors and is not to be waited for any warning sign. The ophthalmologist or the uh, retina specialist who screens for retinopathy of prematurity will follow up the babies periodically in case of immature retina and early stage of, stages of retinopathy of prematurity until the mature retina develops. He or she would recommend treatment in the form of lasers or injections whenever necessary. Beware that uh, in advanced stages the retinopathy of prematurity would require surgeries or it may even go to an extent where it is untreatable. If ignored. Uh, babies with retinopathy of prematurity who are treated do well but present with some sequelae like myopia and squint later in childhood. Hence, follow up is very important with the pediatric ophthalmologist regularly. With this, I would like to conclude my talk on vision problems in children and uh, their warning signs. As the saying goes, I see what the mind knows. Now that you are aware of the warning signs, no need to fret or be paranoid. Just pick up on the clues and get the eye tested for a child whenever necessary. Thank you.